is the story of Gerald McCloy and the strange thing that happened to that little boy. They say it all started when Gerald was two. That's the age kids start talking, at least. Most of them do. But when Gerald started talking, you know what he said? He didn't speak words. He went... Instead. <laughs> What's that? Said Gerald's father, his face turning grey. That's a very odd thing for a young boy to say. <laughs> so poor Gerald's father, he rushed to the phone and quick dialed the number of Dr. Malone. Doctor, come quickly! Gerald's poor father pled. Our boy doesn't speak words, he goes... <laughs> Instead! Chicka boom, chicka chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka chicka boom, chicka get busy now. Instead, I'm no cure for this. I can't get out of the cash. And he packed up his bags and he walked out the place. And then months went by, and little Gerald grew louder. Till one day, he went. like a big keg of powder. <laughs> it was then that Gerald's father screamed, This is enough! You'll drive us all mad with this terrible stuff! A boy of his age shouldn't speak like a fool. He's got to learn words. We must send him to school. So, Gerald marched off, an obedient creature, but soon was back home with a note from the teacher. <laughs> from public school seven to Mrs. McCloy, I'm afraid your son Gerald's a most hopeless boy. <laughs> we cannot accept him, for we have a rule that students must not go boom, chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom, 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 in our school. <laughs> Sincerely yours, Fam Schlutz, teacher, first grade. <coughs> As Gerald grew older, he found that when a boy goes <coughs> no one wants him around. <laughs> naya, naya, they all shouted, your name's not McCloy. It's Gerald McBoing Boing, the noise making boy. <laughs> Poor Gerald decided that he simply had no place at home, at school, in the whole human race. So he decided that, drear and forlorn, he would just disappear in the thick of a storm. But, as he was boarding a slow-moving freight, a voice from the darkness yelled out, Stop, boy! Wait! Aren't you Gerald McBoing Boing, the lad who makes squeaks? My boy, I have searched for you for many long weeks. I can make you the most famous lad in the nation, for I own the Bong 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 radio station. I need a smart fellow who can make all the sounds, who can bark like a dog and bay like the hounds. And your gong is terrific. Your drums are inspired. Now come quick to bong, 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 McBoing Boy. You're hired. <laughs> now his parents, proud parents, are able to boast that little Gerald's is known coast to coast. Now Gerald is rich. He has friends. 
he's well fed because he doesn't speak words. He goes boing boing instead. Oh, what a wonderful reception we have here this evening.